they want to take, forcefully take, uh, around 30 to 50 percent of farmlands within the Netherlands. So that means they can, well, basically do whatever they want with it, really. They can build on top, they can do whatever. On top of this, um, under the guise of reducing nitrogen emissions, they want to cut to livestock as well, uh, So, which means cattle and food, essentially. So the farmers who have been, uh, many of them have been uh, utilising their farms for generations now, uh, have decided, you know what, enough is enough. We've been protesting uh, these radical policies that have been creeping through ever so suddenly since 2019, where they started mobilising around uh, the Netherlands, but now it's accelerated so dramatically, they f they thought, do you know what, enough's enough, we're going to go out and we're going to make our voices heard because the government aren't uh, doing their due diligence for the people. And Lewis, the government, who exactly are they trying to appease by with these crackpot policies? I mean, like I said earlier, we all depend on food. These are farmers, I imagine, with the with costs rising on a monthly basis are having enough of a tough time, but it seems that with the environmental zealots these days, uh, nitrogen is the new N word, if you will. But why is this government seemingly bending the knee to the Greta Thunberg demographic, as opposed to trying to, you know, have an environment for their farmers where they can make a living and feed the people? Well, to be honest with you, Mark Rutte, the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, is a World Economic Forum puppet. Mm. He is uh, he's spouting every single World Economic Forum playbook under the sun. And he's so open with it. He's spoken about Agenda 2030 and sustainable development on, uh, on the Netherlands, where they want to, of course, cut things such as petrol out of the uh, out of everything uh, so they say similar thing that's been happening around the world um and he's he's repeating mantras from the the wef such as build back better and agenda 2030 so it's quite clear to see who really is pulling the strings on the policies and it is of course the world economic forum up to their no good once again and it's it's all for everyone to see Unbelievable. And you know, um, Lewis, when we look at those buzzwords, build back better, well, that's a fallacy. Yeah. All these policies are making our lives more miserable and more expensive. The so-called new normal, it's actually abnormal if you believe in progress and exceptionalism. So again, you know, it, it, it's a false narrative as far as I'm concerned. It seems to be about virtue signaling and wokeism. And I guess the ultimate question is, if you, you know, if there was a, um, a plebiscite or a poll uh, in the Netherlands right now, how many people, how many normal citizens are on board with this environmental madness in the first place? It's a great question. I think a poll came out recently, and obviously we know that polls are, are very inaccurate, so take them with a pinch of salt. But a poll that I did read uh, said, suggested that 80% of the public actually support the farmers. And what we've been seeing on the ground uh, covering this, there has been overwhelming support for the farmers, not just domestically, but internationally. So that's definitely something to, uh, to keep in mind. We have seen, of course, some people that are against the farmers, which is, uh, if, I'm, if I'm to give my opinion, is absolute madness because they are the ones that feed the city people, uh, for crying out loud. Um, so you've got these climate zealots in the city that are saying, yeah, sure, farmers should just give up their lands for the, for the climate agenda. And it's, it's almost a shock when you hear things like that. There's, there's this massive divide. Uh, between uh, a lot of the city people and the rural areas. And we see that everywhere. Um, but this divide, when we've spoken to people, maybe we've picked some really co good people to chat to, but there has been the odd one that uh, that has been quite, uh, well, a <laughs> bit of a climate fanatic, <laughs> to put it so uh, bluntly. It's amazing because whether or not you're a climate fanatic, we all share something in common. We have to eat. And by eating, I mean, you know, beef, chicken, pork, 
not insects, as some of these uh, World Economic Forum people preach to us. You know, uh, Lewis, the when this began, the images were startling. You you saw massive farm equipment blocking highway. You saw the spraying of liquid manure uh, at government offices and so on. Where is this all heading? Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.